final day of Kwanzaa 2023. I wish we could celebrate it all year round and we can by That's educating right. ourselves. Like we always, we always say Black History Month is too short. Well, we don't have to be confined to that. We can, we can do this. We can share throughout the year. And I want to just remind everybody again, I, I want to begin by saying sancoypress.com uh, to find some of the works of Dr. Karinga, some of the principles he's introduced as we talked about in Guza Saba, but he's also introduced other principles. Uh, please, sancoypress.com, Kawaida and Questions of Life and Struggle. Ma'at, the moral ideal in ancient Egypt. The Husia, sacred wisdom of ancient Egypt. Odu Ifa, the ethical teachings. Let's educate ourselves up about all of these concepts so we are even more armed and empowered with our minds. Today, Habari Ghani, what's the news? How we greet one another as we have all week, Habari Ghani. And we respond to one another with the principle of today, the seventh principle, Imani, faith, mamas and babas, sisters and brothers, for the record, once again, and we're so thankful for him all week. He is the professor and chair of Africana Studies, California State University, Long Beach, the executive director of the African American Cultural Center. Uh, go on the website, subscribe. You'll get email updates about the different activities they're having at least weekly sessions, lectures. Dr. Karinga is providing all year long and they will truly lift you and empower you. Of course, he's here in his capacity now as the creator of Kwanzaa and the Nguza Saba, the seven principles. That's what Nguza Saba means, the seven principles. And he's the author of the definitive, of course, Kwanzaa, Celebration of Family, Community and Culture, and also the author of Introduction to Black Studies, fourth edition. Everybody ought to jump on that since they don't want us to have our children taught. We don't, they don't want us to be, have any of this taught anymore. We need to be about that. It's, and it's at the university level. Yeah. There's an assault on black academics, mm -hmm. black faculty, black administrators. We're seeing this, all of this is coming back. So let's, let's get into it and let's be, in, let's be inspired to take mm -hmm. Kwanzaa beyond these seven days. Dr. Maulana Karinga, Habari Ghani, once again, Dr. Karinga. Imani. Asante Sana Barigani, my Samela. Thanks so much for this beautiful week of dialogue and sharing with you and your audience. And thanks to our people uh, for providing this rich culture out of which I was able to weave uh, these ideas together and to construct an institution that speaks to millions of African people throughout the world, African community, on every continent in the world. No other value system, no other philosophy or practice unites the people of various kinds and consciousnesses like uh, Kwanzaa. So I'm so happy about this. And I'm forever grateful to our people who, you know, saw in this ways to ground themselves, orient themselves, and direct their lives toward good and expansive ends. And so this seventh day of Kwanzaa, Imani, now, Umoja was the first principle because, as I said, without Umoja, we can't even start things. But without Imani, it's the last principle. Even if we start them in unity, if we don't have faith, we'll break. So we start with Umoja, but we end with faith, right? And Imani, the seventh principle, says this. The principle of faith calls on us to believe with all our hearts and our people, our parents, our teachers, our leaders, and the righteousness and victory of our struggle. The principle and practice of Imani teaches us to believe in the good and strive constantly to achieve it everywhere and in its most essential, inclusive, and expansive form. Now, somebody, people who have different uh, religious faith, they might start and say, believe in God. They can say that. But we always say, say what unites us, because some people might not have that faith, or they might think their faith is different than yours. So we put it in a way that it would not challenge other people. We, in Africa, in, in the early days, there was nothing like in atheists. Everybody took God as a standard, as a reality, right? And so they didn't name their religions, right? Maybe one, one, one group did. But the rest of it, that it was a daily practice. So I want to make sure, and this is again reaffirmed to people because they always want to see 
make sure it doesn't conflict with their religion. You can speak the way you want, but always keep the core definitions I've been giving. Like this is a core definition to believe with all our heart and our people, our parents, I teach our leaders and the righteousness and victory of our struggle. And this principle and practice of reminding, again, teaches us to believe in and constantly strive for the good we want in order to achieve it everywhere and in its most essential, inclusive, and expansive form. This principle, Imani faith, reminds us that we must have faith in the future and in the new world and new us we seek to bring into being in order for us to imagine them and bring them into being. And it is a faith, if we have it right, that teaches us to believe that through hard work, long struggle, and a whole lot of love and understanding, we can with each other and other press struggling and progressive people reimagine and redraw the map of the world and put in place and develop conditions and capacity for everyone to live in dignity affirming, life enhancing, and world preserving ways and come into the fullness of themselves. We must then have faith, we say, first in our people. We assume you have faith in the divine, okay? But is it always easy to believe in our people? The dominant society teaches us to talk pathologically about our people, deficiencies. But Kwanzaa asks you to turn and see good, to talk about the good, to raise up the good that is being done and invite people to emulate it, right? Call for good in the world, right? That's the beautiful thing about Odu said, let's do things with joy. For surely humans have been divinely chosen to bring good into the world and to not let any good be lost. So we have to have faith in our people, faith in their capacity for and, co and commitment to doing good in the world. We have to have faith in our parents, our foreparents, our, our, our existing parents, and current, all our current parents, the good ones. We're, you know what? I'm talking about good parents as a model here, right? And we have to have faith in and appreciation for the good they've done, the good they do, the good they want for us. We say we have to have faith in our teachers, the righteous teachers, save them mind, teachers of the moral way, the good way, who teach us the good and inspire us to embrace it. And we must have faith in righteous leaders, not the fakes or the false or those who are limited by fear of funds and favor and won't speak out or do right. But we're talking about the righteous leader who guides us toward the good who sees leadership as a moral vocation and aids us in becoming self-conscious agents of our own life and liberation. Ultimately, we must believe in the righteousness and right for and right direction of our struggle, the righteousness of our struggle, the rightfulness of our struggle, and the right direction our struggle is taking us in. We must believe that our struggle for freedom for the oppressed, justice for the wrong and injured, power for the masses of people over their destiny and daily lives, and for a good and just peace in the world is right and compelling, right? And we must believe in the rightfulness and eventual victory of our struggle. We must believe and have is what uh, uh, Dr. Molefe Sanchez calls a victorious consciousness. We must believe in eventual victory of our struggle, believe that we can together in depression, lessen and eventually eliminate injustice, put an end to the disempowerment of the masses of the people and create and, and, and erase the scourge of war from the world. I repeat, we must believe in the rightfulness and eventual victory of our struggle. We must believe that we can together in depression, lessen and eventually eliminate injustice and put an end to the disempowerment of the masses of the peoples of the world, and finally erase the scourge of war from the world. Finally, we must have faith in a different future, 
faith that a different future is possible. That we can, as Nana Franz Fanon urged us, start a new history of humankind, bring into being a new man and woman, and with other progressive people in the world, bring into being that new world, that new man, that new woman who would cherish, respect, and reaffirm each other, sustain the good world, and pass on this good and legacy to future generations. So let us practice daily the freedom that Kwanzaa was conceived in. I said to you, Kwanzaa was conceived as and practiced as an act of freedom, an instrument of freedom, a celebration of freedom, and a practice of freedom all year round. So let us practice these principles in the freedom, in the pursuit of freedom, in pursuit of justice, in pursuit of peace and good in the world. Practice remote unity. Kuchichagilia, self-determination, Ujima, collective work and responsibility, Ujima, cooperative economics, Nia, purpose, Kuumba, creativity, and Imani, faith, striving always to embody them and to live the dignity-affirming, life-enhancing, and world-preserving ways of our ancestors. For this is our duty, to know our past and honor it, to engage our present and improve it, and to imagine a whole new future, and to forge it in the most ethical, effective, and expansive way. And this, too, our ancestors and elders teach us. Continue the struggle, keep the faith, hold the line, love and respect our people and each other. Practice the Nguzo Saba, seek and speak truth, do and demand justice. Be constantly concerned with the well-being of the world and all in it. And dare help rebuild the overarching movement that prefigures and makes possible the good world we all want and deserve to live in and leave as a legacy worthy of the name and history African. Hotel Ashe Hedi. Hedi is our Kwanzaa. Happy Kwanzaa to African people and the world, throughout the world, African community, and all over the world. Imani, faith. The substance of things hoped for, the evidence of the things not seen. Dr. Karenga has invoked our ancestors. What did they do, mamas and babas, sisters and brothers? Some of them never saw a day outside of bondage. Mm. Never saw a day away from the lash. But they still had faith mm. that ultimately generations to come Teach. would see freedom and an end to oppression. That is true faith in us, in our people. And there is no contradiction with, between believing in one another and having faith in one another and having faith in God because if we truly understand all of the cumulative scriptures, be they from the modern Western religions to the ancient teachings of the Husiya and the Oduifa and Ma'at, we know that we are in the creator in God's divine image. So there is no contradiction in believing in one another and believing in God because we represent God and come from God and are made in God's image, all right? So and that, folks, yes. And isn't that, is that not a, a permanent question in the black uh, religious tradition? How can we believe in and love God if we don't believe in and love each other? That's right. How That's can right. we do that? And it says, Whatever good you want to do for God, do it for each other and especially for the poor and vulnerable among you. For God stands satisfied when the vulnerable and poor. That's right. That's right. That's do right. Truth and do justice and walk in the way of righteousness in the world. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Folks, again, we want to remind you, um, you can study and read more. It is so critical at this hour for all of us. Um, for our young people, for our children, but in many ways, all of us are young in the knowledge of ourselves. So we all can learn with the young people in our lives. We invite you to go to sancorepress.com and 
uh, purchased some of the titles, uh, the prolific uh, titles and the prolific authorship of our guest all this week. Learn about Kawaida and Ma'at and the Husia and the Odu Ifa um, so we can know more about ourselves, so we can actualize and practice this faith in ourselves and our people and our culture. We also invite you uh, to visit official Kwanzaa website dot org and if if you're just learning about Kwanzaa this year that's fine you've learned you can go to the website and then next year you can organize yourself whether it be at your school or your church or your organization or just in your home the symbols the principles they're all there for you uh, official Kwanzaa website dot org and we also invite you to learn more about Dr. Karinga uh, and his history uh, he was in this African American studies fight uh, when it first kicked off uh, in the late 60s. Uh, of course, he's also the author of Introduction to Black Studies, which is now in his fourth edition. But learn all about that. Um, that was a fight. And a lot of folks try and take us back, y'all. They want to erase some of that and take us back to the place when it didn't exist. We can't have that. We invite you to go to maulanacoringa.org. Uh, Again, he is the professor and chair of Africana Studies, California State University of Long Beach, the executive director of the African American Cultural Center, us, and the Cultural Center, as I said, has activities, lectures, education, uh, uh, workshops, cultural events year round. Very, very important to get involved in that. And they are even doing many virtually so you don't have to miss out. Uh, please take advantage of the fruit and the harvest that the African-American Cultural Center uh, has to offer. And as always, we do uh, appreciate our dear king and brother, Nana Malana Karinga, Dr. Karinga, thank you once again. And, and folks, it always is meaningful to me. As I've said, Kwanzaa and I are fraternal twins, just five days apart, <laughs> the same year. So, so I'm, I'm thankful. Dr. Karinga, thank you, sir. Peace be with you. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy Kwanzaa to you. And wish for you and the tradition of our ancestors and all your audience, all the good that heaven grants, the earth produces, and the waters bring forth from their depths. Hotep, 